Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and I'm reviewing Smart Pot Pumps today. Summer is here, and there's a lot of uses for home and garden. I'm going to show you how I clean up my fountain with a Smart Pot Pump. It had standing water in it. What a mess. The water fountain had stopped working. I think it's clogged, so I need to drain the water to clean it up and get it working again. It's a lot of water, and my handy Smart Bot Pump is going to help me with this task. This orange model, the SmartBot Robust 2800, will actually take away 2,800 gallons per hour of water at a zero level. Now, I'm going to call this a five-foot level because because we have to move that water about five feet up to the lawn. And at that rate, it's 2,580 gallons per hour it'll move. That's why this thing emptied out so fast. I had to stop it. So I could show you the SmartBot Super 4200. The SmartBot Super 4200 is a higher performing pump to pump water with no lift, it'll go to 4,200 gallons per hour. You can see my little pond is just such an easy job. It did this in what, 30 seconds? I was so impressed by the speed of the SmartBot water pumps. This water was clear and that's why I'm doing the demo, but if it had leaves, there are filters you can put underneath the SmartBot so it doesn't get the leaves all caught up in the machine. So I want to show you what I was starting with. For this job, I could have used either pumps but I'm liking the orange one. It's more everyday use for home and garden. So I'm using it. The bigger the hose you use, the faster your water will be pumped out. The SmartBot can be used with a garden hose, but I had the two inch diameter, really big one, because that's gonna pump it faster. I got this hose from SmartBot. It's a very durable hose. It's not gonna blow out with all that pressure. I like the heavy dutiness of this SmartBot hose. If I'd used a garden hose, it would have taken longer to empty this, but I could have. First of all, I'm gonna lay out the hose for a thirsty plant. I'm not gonna waste the water. Let's find our spot. <laughs> it's a hot day. I think the grass could use some extra water. Whee! <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> now it's time to thread the hose into the back of the pump. You turn it clockwise about six turns and it's in and tight and give the hose some breathing room because you don't want a kink in your hose. The cord is heavy duty and extra long. I have about 10 inches of water. This pump will go on automatically whenever it's in two inches of water. Let's put her in and I'm going to plug it into my extension cord because the fountain is quite far from the house because I want it has good flow with that hose. Whoa! Immediately smart bot starts to work. I love the design of this pump. It's so cute. Check out the little green eyes. It looks like a little R2-D2, a little man. <laughs> this pump is taking out that water so fast. This has only been in here for 30 seconds. SmartBot has really thought to make pumping faster. In fact, it's over two times faster than any other leading pump on the market and certainly a lot easier to handle. I want this to stop, so I'm pulling it out of the water because I want to demonstrate the other pump they gave me as well. So before I'm out of water, let's test the SmartBot 4200 for the last remaining few inches. So I hooked up the discharge hose and now we're going to pump out the rest. And the gray model's electrical cord is extra long. It's a 25 foot power cord. Oh, if he knocks himself over, he will keep going. These small but mighty pumps are both one half horsepower. Check out the output of the hose. He's all lit up with his green eyes. Many times when you have a flood or you're using this powerful tool, there could be water motion that might flip over your smart bot. Smart bot will continue to work even if it's tipped over. That's a feature other water pumps don't have. So you'd have to check them more frequently. That's a very important feature that SmartBot has thought to put into their water pumps. And with the dry run protection, that means you're not gonna wear out your motor because it'll know to stop when the job is done. And all of their models pump water down to 1 16th of an inch. Good job, SmartBot. The real strength of the SmartBots really comes when you really have to pump from a lower depth. I didn't. I was doing a simple job around my garden. Many homes have basements that can be very far underground and they get flooded. And this is where they really do their job. The orange model, the SmartBot Robust 2800, can pull water out of a basement 
20 feet below the surface. That's amazing. Many states in the Midwest need that power because they have heavy rains in the summertime. The gray model, the SmartBot Super 4200 can go 30 feet. It is super powered. If for some reason you'd had some leaves or something to clog it up, it'll turn off as well. So then again, and with that auto off feature, that means again, you're not gonna burn out the pump. The machine won't fail because it's clogged because it just goes off. The smart box was delivered right to my door. I was thrilled to get that delivery. I took them out of the box, I set them on the counter and I wanted to show you what the boxes look like. I liked that they had these bright pictures on them. I could really understand the pump even just by looking at the box. And on the back of the boxes, it showed what the uses were, which was really handy. It gave me more ideas of how to use my smart box. On one side of the box also was the features of the performance. And here you can compare side by side what those are. It shows the gallons per hour at what foot it's gonna be able to pump at. It also shows the accessories I'm gonna get in the box and lets me know what they're for. That was great. Let me show you how well they're packed. I opened up the orange smart box. That's the Robust 28 model. I took it out of the box and laid everything out so you could see what you get in that box all on my counter. It comes with an elbow connector, a straight connector, and then you have some hose adapters, which was really great because you could have a different size of hose that you want to pump water with. That might be the hose handy in your garden right now. So it goes from the two inches all the way down to one and a quarter inches or one and a half inches or one inch and even three quarters of an inch, just depending on what garden hose you happen to have around. I like that. The red hose has come in the box, but there you go. I open the box and there you have that hose. That's the hose I used during my review today. So you got to order that separately, neatly coiled. And after I unpacked the SmartBot Super 4200, that's the one with the gray camouflage, I put that on the counter too with all its accessories. I just thought my white kitchen counter would be a really great place for you to see everything you get with either of these models of the SmartBot. That camo gray model, that's a SmartBot Super 4200. And that orange model, that's a SmartBot Robus 2800. What a great design. What an Iron Man concept in that design. So handy, attractive, and easy to use. Because of its small size, it's so easy to take from the yard to the garden to the basement. At just over 13 pounds, even I don't get tired picking it up. I think every home and garden would have a real need for a smart bot. This is a pump even I can handle. I can easily pick it up. It's small, but powerful. The design reminds me of an Iron Man. And that power is what I need so many times around my house or garden. I wanted to put the SmartBot Robust 2800, the orange model, right next to the SmartBot Super 4200 so you can see what they look like side by side and how the size of them was compared to me because I wanted to show how anybody could manage these SmartBot water pumps. And the gray model is more than just gray. It's actually gray camo. Check this out. So whether your job is large or small, like in my little fountain, which is really a small job, the power of smart bots is just so amazing. Look how fast it pumped. Wow, that's impressive. I'm Rebecca Brand. Click the link below to get your smart bots for your home, your yard, and your basement. I hope you like this video, make a comment, and maybe you learn something about the newest in SmartBot pumping technology. I hope you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified of my next video, and let's keep making great recipes in life. And today's a recipe so I can get to the cleaning of my fountain. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Woo! And if you like this video, here's some more over there for lots of summertime activities and recipes right there.